So hi hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to prepare a distance from road and a distance from a liniment and distance from stream in ArcGIS. So let's get started. So now currently I'm visualizing our stream, the streamlines of the study region. So the study region is indicated in indicated as uh, this one and the stream is indicated in the line. So let me turn this off. So this is our lineament of the study region and last the road network of the study region. So now let us prepare our distance to stream. So first go to the layer section. Let me turn on this layer. Make sure that right, uh, right click the layer and go to the property section. So in that you can able to visualize in the source section the geographic coordinate system is uh, currently it is in GCS WGS 1984. So to perform our distance to a stream or a lineament or a road, we need to convert this projection to a projected coordinate system. So for that, we're going to use a projection tool for our roads, lineament and stream. So now let me click OK. So now go to the search section and in that we're going to type as a project projection. So now you can able to visualize I've typed as a projection. Now let me search the projection tool. Now select this particular tool called project data management tool. So this tool is used to project our spatial data from one coordinate system to another. So now we're going to select this tool called uh, stream. That is our layer called stream. So now you can able to visualize. Now let me choose my output file location. So now I have selected my output file location. Now click save. So now I've saved as a stream projection. So now let us choose the output coordinate system. So click this option. So in that we can select the projected coordinate system. So in that we're going to drag this down. So from UTM, click the UTM. In that we're going to select WGS 1984. So in the northern hemisphere, we're going to select the projection of zone 44. So now let me select this zone 44, WGS 1984, UTM zone 44. So this is my study area as current uh, zone, that is zone, UTM zone 44 north. So now click OK. So now let me show you the zones. So this is a UTM zone map for entire world. So in this way, you can select your study region. Suppose your study area is lying in Iran, it represents uh, 39, zone 39. And suppose if your study area is lying here in uh, in United States, so it will be uh, zone 13. So likewise, in this way, you can select your specific zone of your study region using this UTM zone map for world. So now let me get back to RGIS. So now I have selected my output coordinate system. Now click OK to run this tool. So currently the projection tool is running. So likewise, we have to perform, we have to convert our projection for road and lineament. So convert from GCS to, to PCS, that is projected coordinate system. So the projection tool has run. So now let me add the file. So go back to your uh, file location. Now let me add my uh, stream projection file. So navigate to your data. So this is our stream projection. Now let me add this. So I have added my stream projection. So now right click to the layer, go to the property section. So in that you can now able to visualize it is now in projected coordinate system WGS 1984 UTM zone 44. So now click OK. So likewise we have to perform the projection transformation for roads and lineament. So now let me perform for roads and lineament. So similarly I'm going to insert for roads and I'm going to select the output file location and the output coordinate system. So for roads, I've similarly done the same. I've transformed to a projected coordinate system. So you can visualize, visualize here the output coordinate system is WGS 1984 UTM zone 44 north. So now click OK. So now you can able to visualize I've converted the projection to a GCS to a PCS that is projected coordinate system for lineament, roads and stream. So now let me remove this uh, other layers.
So it is very essential to perform our projection that is from uh, to convert it to a PCS that is projected coordinate system before performing our distance to lineament road and stream. So now go to the arc toolbox section. So that is available here, arc toolbox. So click this. So it will be a, a window called arc toolbox will be open. So in that we're gonna go uh, select the spatial analysis tool. In that we're gonna select this tool called distance. So in that we're gonna select this tool called uh, so we're going to select this tool called uh, Euclidean distance. So I have selected this tool that is Euclidean distance tool. So the description about this tool is Euclidean distance calculates for each cell the Euclidean distance to the closest source. So now let us input our stream that is stream projection. So select your output file location. So now I have saved as a distance to stream. Now let me reduce the number of words. Now select your output cell size to 30. So now I can able to visualize it now. So we're gonna click this environments. So in environments, we're gonna select the processing extent and select an extent as a same as the layer study area landslide. So study area is our boundary of this uh, study region. So I have selected that particular polygon that is study area. So next we're going to move out to the raster analysis section in that we're going to select the mask. Uh, we're going to select the study area. So now click OK. So now click OK to run this tool. So now you can able to visualize our Lucidian tool has been performed its uh, analysis. So it's completed here. So you can visualize our distance to stream. So now go to the property section. We're going to select properties that is right click and go to the property section. Let me show you once more time, right click, go to the properties. So in that go to the option called symbology. So you can choose a number of classes. So I have selecting five classes. So again, go to the classify section. So now let me make some changes starting from 250 to 500, 500 to 750, 1000 and 2000. So now we can able to visualize it. I break the values for from 250, 500, 750, 1000 and 2000. So now let me click OK. So now click OK. So now we can able to visualize our uh, distance to stream starting from 250 to 500, 750, 1000 and more than that is 2000. So likewise, we're going to perform the similar set of operations for our roads and lineaments so again go to the arc toolbox in that we're going to select lucidian distance so we're going to input our roads and you're going to select your output file location we have selected distance to road now click save now choose your cell to output cell size that is 30. now click ok so yeah we uh, forgot to select our uh, the environment section so let me perform that let me remove this so now go to the result section in that we're going to select this tool again so it is our roads let me enter the output file location again so now let us select our environments and go to the processing extinct we're going to select our study area and similarly go to the raster analysis section and we're going to select the mask using our study area so now click ok so now let us run this code again. So now we have generated our uh, distance to road using our uh, Euclidean uh, tool. So now again go to the property section and we're going to select our number of classes to 5 and classify a similar process. We're going to 250 to 1000 uh, that is 250 to 2000 in the break values. Now click OK. And click OK. So now I can able to visualize our road, the distance from road, starting from the buffer of 250, 500, 750, 1000, and 2000. I'm going to perform four lineaments too. Now select your lineament projection that is our lineament layer. Let me modify it. Our output file location. So I've more modified it. So I've selected the lineament layer.
So now click OK. Uh, make sure that is go to the environments and select your processing extent as the study area landslide. And similarly, raster analysis, go to the mass section and select your study area and click OK and click OK. So now we can able to visualize our lineament that is distance to lineament. So similar process, go to the layer, right click and go to the layer that is our lineament layer and right click, go to the properties and in that we're going to select the number of classes to be 5 and we're going to classify it starting from 250 to 2000. So now click OK and click OK. So now we can able to clearly able to visualize our distance to lineament and our distance to road and distance to stream. So you can also change the color. Let me turn on this layer, right click, go to the properties In that go to the symbology section. You can choose your color ramp of your choice. So let me select this particular color and click OK. So now I, I likewise you can change uh, the color. So similarly for the distance to road, let me turn this off, turn this on and right click, go to the properties. Let me select a color ramp. So I'm going to select this color ramp and click oh, OK. So let me select another one. Now click OK. So now I can able to visualize our distance to lineament, distance to road, and last distance to stream using our Euclidean tool in RGIS. So in this video, I've shown you how to prepare a distance to road, distance to lineament, and distance to stream using a Euclidean tool Euclidean tool in RGIS. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.